Cubase 15 makes producing faster and smoother than ever. From automation improvements to ultra-fast exporting, these updates are all about keeping you in the flow. Let's check what's new. I want to start this video with a very powerful feature that has to do with automation enhancements. Now you can focus on the last touch parameter with faster simplified automation workflows. Let me show you. Right here I have this track for example and as you can see I have a studio delay loaded. Now let's say I want to automate a parameter here on my studio delay plugin. I'm going to hit write automation and I'm going to automate the reverb. So as you can see, this parameter appears right here on top. Now, let's say I want to automate the modulation. When I touch it, you will see that this parameter goes on the top of our automation lanes, which means I can focus on this last touch parameter straight away. If I want to automate the age, for example, you will see that age will jump on top. Same with the feedback. If I use my feedback and start automating, this parameter will jump right at the top. And of course, you can control this behavior by going to our automation panel, settings, and then you can set this up right here. So last touch parameter, show at top, and you will get the behavior that I just showed you. And this allows you to immediately see the automation that you're creating without having to hunt it throughout all the different parameters in the list. Another nifty feature is that when I click on the automation menu, you will see that the most recent parameters that we automated are going to be displayed here. So they're easy to find and you don't have to scroll through all those different parameters. This is a very powerful quality of life feature. Next, we have full screen support for Mac OS. Right here, I'm using Cubase 15 on Mac OS. I can just go here and turn Cubase into full screen. Next, we have new track controls. You can now add volume and pan directly to your track controls. So as you can see right here, I have my volume headers right here on the track controls. And if I want to, I can go to my settings and I can add the pan as well. So now I have a very easy way to pan and change the level of any track within my project window with the track controls. Next, we have plugin scaling. All stock effects plugins now feature a user-defined scalable interface, which means you can resize your plugins as you want. For example, right here, I have the studio delay. I can go to the user interface scaling and then I can either decrease, increase or set it to a specific value like so. The same goes for vocal chain, for example. Let's go to user interface scaling and set it to 37.5%. And now all the effects plugins scale beautifully. Now you can use pinch gestures on macOS to effortlessly zoom the timeline, like so. Next, we have quick audio export. And this is a very nifty new feature because this is a feature that allows you to quickly export your project that you're working on without setting up markers, without setting up complex settings. It lives right here and you can just click on it. You just select whether you want to export on an MP3 or WAV file. You click save and you're done. With Cubase 15, Dot Project supports Cubase Elements, AI, and LE, allowing you to share projects easily between all editions of Cubase, Cubases, and other supported DAWs. Your producer life just got easier with Cubase 15, so you can focus more on your music. Have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.